While rice farmers in Calcasieu, Allen, and Jeff Davis Parish know how damaging the Mexican rice borer can be to their crops. First discovered in 2008, the Mexican rice borer can reduce yields by feeding inside the stem of growing rice plants. As Twyla's A.J. Sabine shows us, LSU entomologists have learned new ways of monitoring the expansion of the pests with the hope of one day eradicating this threatening insect. LSU entomologist Emily Krause and James Biegas look through the microscope at a growing threat to rice, the Mexican rice borer, or MRB. According to LSU professor of entomology Dr. Mike Stout, the MRB has expanded its reach across several rice growing parishes, including Calcasieu, Cameron, Jeff Davis, and Vermillion, among others. Stout explains that while the MRB has been around since 2008, Rice farmers should be paying attention to this pest because and populations are beginning to build up to damaging levels. And so what farmers need to be aware of is number one, that the, it's a new pest and it's invaded the state. And number two, it can, there's a possibility that it's going to build up to damaging levels in their fields and cause yield losses. Preventing yield loss motivates these scientists to come up with new ideas on how to control the spread of the insect. Entomology researcher Blake Wilson has devised a pheromone trap that successfully monitors the expansion of male MRBs along Louisiana's rice and sugar belts. It's a, it's a unique opportunity to study a new system. It's not very often you get to study a, an invasive insect population right on the edge of its advancing range and also to be able to work with farmers, sugarcane and rice growers and help them learn to manage a new problem that they haven't had to deal with in, in the past, is a, it's an exciting opportunity. Exciting opportunities abound through research. However, Stout says growers may be able to control the Mexican rice borer with soil treatments such as silicone. Today, farmers use seed treatments as well as stubble management to control the advance of the Mexican rice borer. If we can take silicone, which is a byproduct of, of steel manufacturing, it's called slag, and we can apply that to fields, and when we do that, we find that populations of this pest are lower than in, in plots that have not been treated with this silicon. So the silicon seems to do several things to the rice, but the rice takes it up into its tissues. And one thing that it does do is it makes the rice plant more tougher and harder for the insect to bore into the stem. In the meantime, scientists will continue to monitor these traps while developing new ways to control this potential threat. We still don't know how far north this insect may be able to move. Um, but we anticipate it'll continue to spread eastward at its current rate of about 10 to 15 miles per year and continue to infest new areas of sugarcane and rice. Because the Mexican rice borer feeds on weedy grasses and a multitude of crop hosts such as sugarcane, there is little chance of eradicating the bug or preventing its further expansion. However, awareness helps. If you guys and gals around the farm want more information about the Mexican rice borer, log on to our website at twilatv.org. And guys, I can't stress enough, the Mexican rice borer is a relatively new pest, but any major weather event, such as a hurricane or like a tornado, could actually spread the insect further north and east.